Hi folks, this is Marshall Sponder, and I'm here at my capacity's web actors guru talking about uh, social bakers. Um, social bakers, the Analytics Pro has a Facebook, Twitter, and a YouTube um, uh, aspect to it, and we'll look at each one of these. Um, but I am going to pick one artist that I like. You know, for for Katy Perry, um, I've been listening to her stuff a lot, so you can go and look at Katy Perry's. Um, stuff and this is kind of what you'll see of Katy Perry um, the basic information here really uh, is interesting it seems to be mostly aggregated data from from YouTube um, and it does in fact show she's got 55 videos since she released her uh, movie about a month and ago and um, I think if you, you want to look more specifically at the videos, I mean, there's just a lot of detail that go into these charts, but the videos themselves, um, you can sort in a number of ways. I mean, you can look at the videos um, individually. And it's pretty cool, actually, because that, these videos will pay. And uh, they'll also, um, you know, let's hear one of them. Let's see. Uh, this one, you can sort. Um, actually, the way you can sort these is engagement rate, top to bottom, bottom to top, likes it, dislikes. Actually, it looks a lot like an Excel sort sheet. But let's just play one of these for a second. So what you'll get here is, uh, uh, I don't know how this is going to come out. But, 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 but essentially, you're going to see all the likes and dislikes. Let's get some of the music right in here. Of course, you get all the ads, right? Yeah, let's get some of the video. All right, we'll go a little further there. Oh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay, well that's enough of that. Uh, I don't even know how that came out, uh, the videos. But anyway, you can get that detail on the YouTube videos. In this case, it's really great for a brand manager, I think. But let's go and look at Twitter. Okay, what can we can tell? I'm also we can compare two to, to, to channels together, though I'm not going to do that today. Uh, the channel, the comparisons will be kind of similar, but let's go look at, at uh, Twitter. As you can see, um, look at Katy Perry again. We'll do one on politics. I'm just waiting for Mitt Romney's uh, data to, to, to upload because I just put it in. I had so Katy Perry's got, um, and it goes back like you can go back longer than a month, but it seems like most of the data I'm getting out of this last month it says, yeah, eh, she's gone from 22,000, 22 million to 24 million followers. She's got more than most politicians. And obviously, the the highest uh, time uh, of activity was when the movie came out in the end of June. Uh, we go total following seems to jump up. I would say I, my guess is this is when some videos are being released, but uh, I, I think this is more meaningful if you know a bit more about um, the 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 artist. And then um, tweets versus retweets, you know, those made by her. Uh, tweets and and those people are retweeting so I think it it really somewhat dependent on what she's putting in her channel again this will be a lot more meaningful for people who manage a, a brand like an artist um, than a general population although you could certainly delve in by followers um, and by tweets and you know you can really kind of place could play with this quite a bit you know um, key influencers is kind of interesting because they'll They'll look at it based on the, the traditional way I think people, and the number of people who are retweeting the most. You know, you can go and get get a hold of these people in a lot of cases. Uh, I find it's funny, Katy Perry. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of everybody wants to have and it's engagement rating. I, I think you'll need to go and check on the, the, the values of all these things. Like what, what, what they mean in context and whether you agree these are things that really are meaningful to you is really up to you. But you can kind of see what Social Baker is doing with Katy Perry. 
We'll do the comparisons later when we do the politics, you know, and the response rate. So let's go to Facebook. And we've got Katy Perry and Facebook, because I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, let's let's go into Katy Perry's Facebook presence. I think one of the interesting things about you know what, what what she's doing, what what they're doing with Facebook is they're pulling in quite a bit of, of data from Facebook. Uh, number of tabs on their page. You want to know the total scores. They've got some general overview and scoring mechanism. Total score is fifty percent. Um, and how that being scored is is, is somewhat a question to me because I think there is some sort of um, ideal scheme of things that they seem to have. You know, like this is what you should be having ideally and this is what you have. You can, can kind of see the daily fan growth, people talking about data, admin posts, and uh, posts made by the admin, and then the types of posts and what, you know, obviously photos tend to be more engaging, but you kind of wonder links and videos. Um, these are the post types and then the average engagement rate. Again, you'll need to go in and hone in on what these things mean to you and how you could use them because I think there's a lot here that you could use, but I, I want to look at uh, at uh, the actual fans because I found that this was, was pretty interesting. Like, let's let's look at the fans and see, you know, how many fans she's got. 45 million, 45 and a half. And, um, I think somewhere in here she's got the actual details. There's the details. And you've got the posts here. Let's just look at the posts. And uh, what do we have for the posts? Photo, video. So this is the posts that have taken place. And these are the posts. These are the, the admin, you know, posts. And you can see them and the effect that they've had. Um... And again, you can I think you can hover on some of these, you know. But here you're you're seeing the actual content, so this gives you an idea of your brand manager uh, engagement rating um, is probably something along the line of. Let's see what we've got here. Again, it's taking, it's it's churning, it's churning, uh, and maybe it's not so easy for it to. To, to pull this data because it seems to be a lot of data. This tells you the average times and the interactions. Again, very meaningful. I like this one, key, user activity. I guess you can hover over this stuff. It's a nice visualization. I think it's very, very well done. Um, again, you can break down these aggregations between links and videos and photos in terms of engagement. And I think when you're looking at the key influencers, it's pretty interesting. Again, if you were Katy Perry's uh, uh, management team for entertainment and you wanted to you know get the Facebook fans to show up and give her awards and make, you know which seems to be something that they do want um, then what you can use is uh, a platform like this to get the influencers well here you've got you know your top influencer I don't want to necessarily open all of these but let's just take one yeah, okay, uh, April Levine pitches. Okay, let's take one. If we go to, the, I don't want to take the top one because it might take five minutes to load. And uh, you'll be able to see the history of that, um, of that fan posting on to Katy Perry's page. Which might, might, might be kind of interesting, but you can see this is kind of takes time. So I will stop it for a second. Well, anyway, here we go again and look at that. Well, here's the, um, actual posts and these are links to the actual details of them so you can see the last 10 actual posts of this fan and you can go to them so that gives the brand manager a real means for you know that in fact it's interesting that Katy Perry's in there herself as uh, as one of the uh, uh, influencers number 25 and I'm, I'm assuming that's the official Katy Perry account and you got K Katy Perry and there, yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to say whether these people really are really. Now, maybe it's not, you know, real Katy Perry people because the admin is Perry Perry. But anyway, that's pretty much um, what I have to share today. Um, good, good stuff. Um, I think we'll always have to think about how you're going to use this information. But this Marshall Sponder for Webmetrics Guru out. Cheers.